everyone, my name is Jayana Hunahayay. So for today's video, I'm going to explain and give an example every three articles I choose on obligation and contracts in Chapter 2, Nature and Effects of Obligations. Article 1167, if a person obliged to do something fails to do it, the same shall be executed at this cost. This same rule shall be observed if he does it in contravention of the tenor of the obligation. Furthermore, it may be decreed that what has been poorly done be undone. The point here of Article 1167, obligation to do, Additionally, referred to as their passive personal obligation. Article 1167 considered three scenarios where the debtor breaches an obligation. The first scenario, the debtor fails to perform an obligation to do, meaning hindi niya nagawa an obligation. Second, the debtor complies with an obligation but does so in opposition to its terms. Meaning, nagawa niya, pero opposite or hindi sinunod ang kaninang pinag-uusapan. Third scenario, the debtor fulfills an obligation but in a poor quality form. Meaning, hindi opposite. Nagawa niya, pero hindi niya nagawa ng sakto. So, that's all the three scenarios of this Article 1167. Article 1167 says the creditor has the right to perform by him or someone else at the debtor's expense and has the right to recover damages. Let's take for example, the case of Smith versus Rias. In this situation, a smartphone owner delivered to a repairman for repairs. Despite multiple requests, no work was completed. And suddenly, the repairman returned the device and some parts of the device was burst and missing. When the smartphone returned to the owner, he repairs to someone else. Now, the owner claims damages from first repairman for the cost of the repairs and the cost of the missing parts. The first repairman, liable meaning, kailangan niyang managot includes the cost of the labor and the needed materials as well as the value of missing parts. Because according to Article 1167, if a person obliged to do something fails to do it, the same shall be executed at this cost. Article 1168, when the obligation consists in not doing and the obliger does what has been forbidden him, it shall also be undone at his expense. It means, if the obligor breaks the prohibition, it must be fixed at the obligor's expense when the requirements is to keep from doing something, he or she obligate to expense the cost. For example, Maritus purchased land and they agreed with Jimmy that it should be fairly divided and not extended beyond. At this, Marites stood up the fence and went past Jamie's land side. Jamie can file an action against Marites to remove the fence she built at her expense. Article 1169 Those obliged to deliver or to do something in court in delay from the time to oblige judicially or extrajudicially demands from them the fulfillment of their obligation. However, the demand by the creditor shall not necessary in order that delay may exist. First, when the obligation or the law expressly so declare, or second, when from the nature and the circumstances of the obligation it appears that the signation of the time when the thing is to be delivered or the service is to be rendered was a controlling motive for the establishment of the contract or third when the demand would be useless as when the obliger has re rendered it beyond his power to perform in reciprocal obligation, neither party incurs in delay if the other 
does not comply or is not ready to comply in a proper manner with what is incumbent upon him. From the moment of the parties fulfills in his obligation, delay by the other begins. Meaning of delay, ordinary delay is simply fails to following a due for an obligation. Failure to fulfill a duty on time results in a le legal delay, default or mora, which is a breach of the duty. For example, in order to avoid penalties for late registration, a newborn should have their fact of birth registered right away because according to Article 1169, those obliged to deliver or to do something in court in delay from the time the obliged judicially or extrajudicially demands from, the, from them the fulfillment of their obligation. And that would be all the three articles discussion. And thank you for listening.